All right, so it was a great morning this morning. I have to admit, guys, mark your calendar, January 3rd, 2013. This is the day that the New York Times finally came around to a story we've been talking about for a very, very long time, many, many months. On the cover, above the fold, uh, a young black man in Chicago holding a sign that says, don't shoot. And if you read the article, this is a great article, great piece. It talks about the violence, the gun violence that's going on in the city of Chicago. So we want to talk about it a little bit, Bob. I mean, Chicago happens to be one of the most rigid, strident uh, gun um, control cities in the country. 506 murders uh, last year. Gun violence is up by 17 percent. And um, they're not, nothing seems to be well, working now. A couple of things to keep in mind here. Like Washington, D.C., the, the guns are brought in from states where they are allowed to be sold, like in, in D.C. it's Virginia. But leaving that aside, most of these guns are illegal guns they're using. But let's keep in mind, as tragic as this is, a vast percentage of this is a drug war going on in south in the south part of Chicago, and that's why it's happening. Well, I, I, I'm going to dispute that. Um, 80, what, 80, a, well, if you read the article, 80 percent of... The murders, the gun murders in Chicago are, were, occurred in 23 districts in Chicago. But isn't that the point, Greg, that they're done with, they're, they're, they're using illegal guns because yeah. they have to be illegal because they can't get permits and you can't track them. Yeah, so there goes your gun control argument. Uh, the weird thing that I find is uh, Rahm Emanuel expressing outrage uh, over the tragic school shooting because it, as a crisis, it scores points for him. Says very little about the carnage in his own backyard, which seems to say that some victims matter more than others, and uh, dismissing this violence just as gangs, because it's gangland violence, isn't right. Uh, you have people like Beyonce who go into a video saying, doing a video after this horrible school shooting, but this is a woman under Destiny's Child who sang about thug love. Why doesn't she address the gangland violence, uh, which is, I guess, scary? It kills way more people than these rare school but, shootings. But, but, Greg, but that's these, too political. These are armies on the street. They're, yeah. they're out there to try to shoot each other to get territory. And 23 districts is I know. a relatively small part of Chicago, by the way. And these guys are shooting each other to get territory to sell drugs. Yeah. And, 23 and, districts is about a third of the city. But why do, okay. Right. So, so that's clearly what, there's, well, not, there's so not enough cops on the street. what happens in the other two-thirds of the city? They don't have guns there? Is that what you're trying to say? No, well, I, there's not enough cops on the street, or the cops who are on the street aren't being allowed to do their job properly. Look, Rahm Emanuel doesn't want to fix the problem. It's very clear. Right after the ball dropped, the stroke of midnight, I think, in the first day of 2013, there was about nine shootings already in Chicago. And this is what happens. You keep talking about taking the guns off the street. It's not going after the guns. It's going after the criminals. It's not a gun problem. It's a crime problem. It's a gang problem. And that's, they are right, criminals. So then why, then, it seems to me it would be better to then address the root cause of the problem. And I don't know what the answer is in terms of the of, of the a drug war or a gang war, but talking about this gun thing, I don't think is work. It's not working. It's not helping yeah, solve I, a problem. I, I think think it, about the, what you're saying, though, Bob. It, 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 in, in there, there are areas of the city that have high high homicide rates, right. and there are areas of that same city that have low homicide rates. Right. Same city. Same gun yeah, uh, but, population. But the, but the North it's Shore of Chicago is not a place parts. where they got big drug areas. It, it has to be the people in those districts it, and not the look, people in those what districts. What they need yes to do is no? ask the Los Angeles Police Department, who've taken on gangs for decades now. They finally have made some headway between the Crips and the Bloods, if there you remember go, those names. And they have moved their operations around the country. They make their money off of selling drugs. These are armies on the street. The same We're thing not happened in New York City, Bob. The same thing happened. Strict gun control. Crime was running rampant. Giuliani came in. He put more cops on the street. He allowed them to do their job. None of the shoot to wound stuff. And these guys were able to tackle crime and clean this city up. Are you suggesting that the, somehow that the Chicago Police Department is not doing their job? And or Rahm Emanuel is not doing his job? Do you I think, think he wants the Chicago to Police Department are wonderful, wonderful public servants. They might not be able to do their job to the best of their abilities, and they might not have enough backup. I don't think and I don't think that Rahm Emanuel is doing his job, no, to answer He doesn't question. have the spine. He has no spine. He had the spine to go after Chick-fil-A, remember that? Because mm -hmm. that well, was that. did take that, on the teacher's union and then caved, but at least yeah. he, it was like a few days. But I think there's something, I, I, I think he is scared. I think he's scared well, of actually being perceived as racist or can, something. Well, can I stay on that race for a second? If 70% of the homi homicides in Chicago were uh, victims were black and 17% were or, uh, Hispanic, if with more gun control, more gun violence occurs in these cities, Chicago, um, Washington, how is gun, more gun control, more gun laws not racist in itself?
Is it not? Am I, well, am I, am I, am I it, apples to oranges? But look, if, if you assume that virtually, I, I don't know what percentage of gang members are of a minority in Chicago, I would bet it's very high, very few white gang members. And so, no, it's not racist. It is a reality about gangs. Emmanuel's doing his job but what, he is, as best he could, but trying to take on gangs, these are armed armies out on the street. Well, if I guess my point it, is he, he should resign. He's not he's doing it. Well, but does flag. that mean somebody else could come in and fix this? I don't think that's cr true. Oh, well, really? How do you think it was done in New York City? Rudy Giuliani did it. At, at, Rudy Giuliani did it by getting, finally is, getting corrupt cops. You know what? Rom is no cops. Rudy. Rom is no Rudy. But, but, but Bob, you you're saying it. address the gangs, right? Yeah, do you absolutely. You address the gangs by pu putting more gun control on law-abiding citizens? No, I think this is, we're talking apples and oranges well, here. The, but that's the, what the segment is. We're talking about on the cover of the New York Times. The city of Chicago has a gun problem, has a homicide problem, and they're finally talking about it. And if you if, read it, there is, there's actually there's if, no if correlation had, between if, if gun ownership. If you took my position, which is never going to happen, which is you ought to stop to sell any handguns. Most of these are by handguns and confiscate but guns that, are. But does that deal with the drug problem? No, I'm just, I, that's not. the thing that, that, again, that's the root cause of the problem. Right. And so what, it's, we're wasting our time talking about gun laws that aren't going to change, or if the gun laws in Chicago are so strong. Finally, you're for re legalization of drugs. No, Thank I think, you for no, coming to my evolved. side. <laughs> I, I, no, I've evolved on that. Uh, you have evolved. I, I don't know. I'm not completely um, on your side yet, but I'm, I'm getting there because every story that we do about this, that is actually the real problem. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's the drug thing. So dealing with the guns is a symptom, not treating the disease. It, you know, I think I, there's I, also I, breakdown of the American family we so. could talk about. There's issues with where are the dads mm -hmm. in a lot of these situations. The graduation there's, rate there's of high drugs. school students in Chicago. Exactly. Or in, I mean, most urban cities. And a lot, of these, a lot of these guys and gals don't have jobs. They don't. And if they're getting rent subsidies and rent checks and there's no incentive to go out and make a living, no hand up just to hand out, well, a lot of them do turn look, it a life look, of most, crime. Most of this, the, the drug wars there are over crack and over heroin. I have, I'm opposed to legalizing marijuana, as you know. I used to be in favor of it, but I've come around because it's gotten too strong. But what I am in favor of is having clinics where you can dispense uh, cocaine, methadone, heroin to users. If you do that, you dry up the entire uh, really? uh, group. Yes, I think that's... Look, they're going to get their drugs. Believe me, they're going to get their drugs. Right. However they go about doing it, they're going to kill, they're going to steal, they're going to... If you had a place that they knew they could go so, to... So do the opposite for drugs, what you're saying, that you should do with guns. Because they're going to get their guns, mm -hmm. too. Yeah, they are, but, but you, you, well, they won't have much need for guns if they're not selling. Who's going to pay for, for, that? Not, who's not gonna pay for the coke we, den? we got to go. we got to leave that. <laughs>